Traumatic injury to the fingers and hands is a common reason for emergency room visits. In fact, an estimated 45,000 patients for partial hand amputation are seen annually. This is a sad truth, considering that finger loss not only comes with a functional impairment, but also many psychological impacts, as cited in research that will be linked in the description. Currently, there are several solutions to accommodate partial finger loss. One of the most functionally advantageous designs is the body-powered prosthetic finger. Unfortunately, only a few prosthetics companies manufacture body-driven prosthetic fingers and are often made of expensive materials offered at inflated prices. A single finger can cost thousands of dollars and are not an option for amputees without health insurance and or other complications. So a low-cost alternative is desperately needed. The goal of this project is to design a low-cost, body-powered finger prosthetic that restores finger motion and function to the user. The design should be light, durable, low friction, and integrate off-the-shelf parts with 3D printed components. I started this project because I wanted to help a relative who unfortunately experienced a traumatic accident that resulted in the loss of the middle and distal phalanges of the middle finger. I began by designing a mechanical linkage that mimics the bending motion of a finger when driven at its base. Its premise is based on one of the most basic linkages, the planar forebar. By allowing two of the linkages to cross each other, it creates a bending motion. And by cascading two of these crossing forebar linkages onto one another, it creates a two-stage bend that mimics the natural motion of the middle and distal phalanges of a finger. To ensure a good fit, I made an alginate mold of the user's hand. The hand was cast in plaster and was used throughout multiple iterations of the design. After getting the general motion and dimension of the linkage mechanism right, I moved into SolidWorks to recreate the design using a top-down modeling approach. The full design consists of 10 unique 3D printed parts and is held together only with M3 screws and nylock nuts. Other parts include the Velcro strap and a molded silicone interface used for the backplate and on the fingertips. The full cost of the materials is well under $10. After the final version of the prosthetic finger fit my alginate mold well, it was time for testing. Here you can see that tasks that were once tedious due to an unbalanced grip, like holding tools, cutting food in the kitchen, and opening doors are now much easier. Friction is enhanced on the finger with a silicone coating that mimics the characteristics of human skin. A quick finite element analysis in SolidWorks shows that the ring can likely support a static load of about 25 pounds, although this could be drastically increased by a design change that eliminates the stress concentration at the top of the ring. But the finger restored both fine motor skills of the middle finger as well as increased grip strength of the hand. Overall, I would call this project a success.
Now there are several improvements to this design that could bring it to the next level. The first is materials considerations. This iteration is printed in ABS plastic, and while it is a tough material, others should be considered that have higher yield strength and lower coefficients of friction. Higher temperature materials like nylon or high impact polystyrene could be future options. To streamline manufacturing, the molded silicone parts could also be 3D printed out of elastomeric materials like TPU. Geometries of the finger itself could also be further optimized for both strength and manufacturing. In its current state, the finger requires a considerable amount of support material that could be eliminated with some design changes, and using tools like topology analysis could make the finger both lighter and more durable. That's all I have today, and hopefully there will be a version 2 in the near future. Until then, I'll see you around. Bye.